a new three-person in vitro fertilization technique has spared eight children in the UK from devastating genetic diseases. That's according to scientists from Newcastle University, who say the procedure prevents the transfer of mutated genes that could cause incurable and potentially fatal disorders. For example, rapid heart failure, sudden death, neurodegenerative diseases. What we've been doing... That's Newcastle University's Doug Turnbull. In some families that we've looked after for many years, it is clearly running through the families that this disease is running through the families. And therefore, what we're trying to do is prevent that transmission. The technique, which is banned in the United States, transfers pieces from inside the mother's fertilized egg, its nucleus plus the nucleus of the father's sperm, into a healthy egg provided by an anonymous donor. So in effect, you've got the nuclear DNA that makes us all us, and then the mitochondria from a donor woman. That egg is then transferred back, that embryo is then transferred back to the, the mother, and then she has the baby. Eight children whose mothers underwent this procedure were all healthy at birth, with blood tests showing no or low levels of mitochondrial gene mutations, scientists reported in the New England Journal of Medicine. All have made normal developmental progress, they said. One of the eight children is now two years old. What we want to do, and, and we have an application at the moment, is to extend this out to five years. Five years is when children go to school, and obviously is another really important developmental stage. The procedure was tested in 22 women. Seven of the so far eight pregnancies were uneventful. In one case, a pregnant woman had blood tests showing high lipid levels. There have been no miscarriages. In 2015, the UK became the first country in the world to legalize research into mitochondrial donation treatment in humans. That same year in the United States, pro-nuclear transfer was effectively banned for human use.